Elisheba Israel, E-L-I-S-H-E-B-A, Israel, I-S-R-A-E-L. And I won the 2015 IndieVale TV Tattoo Artist of the Year Award, and my shop is One Drop Ink Tattoo. <laughs> so congratulations to you. Thank you, thank you. So how does it feel being Tattoo Artist of the, of the Year? <laughs> Feels phenomenal. I've only been tattooing for four years, and who would have thought that I'd be up here with just that limited amount of experience? So I'm just surprised and honored that somebody loves my artwork enough to think about me for something like this. And that's really big. The, the tattoo industry is pretty large and it's, yes. a, it's very competitive. Yes. So with that, what can we expect to see from you now? Well, I am about to start traveling a lot to conventions just to get my name out, um, to do more work on other people. Uh, I've been here in Nashville, like I said, I started four years ago. And I've just been really focusing on learning new techniques and expanding my knowledge and going out, meeting other artists, learning from them doing residencies at other places is really going to help me grow as an artist so I can offer even more better work <laughs> as I grow as an artist in the tattoo industry. So, And I like to make more friends with other shops around here because I don't know a lot of people. That's why I was really surprised about this, that I don't know a lot in the, except for my little neighborhood over off of Jefferson by TSU. So with you saying you don't know a lot of people here, where are you from? I'm from Memphis. Okay, so what brought you to Nashville? I had to escape Memphis. <laughs> you just kind of leave home, you know, and go out and learn new things, venture out, and I'm glad I did. I, you know, I didn't start tattooing until I got here, okay. so um, it was a new experience. I've always done art my whole life, and I knew I was going to do something with art, just wasn't sure, you know, what once I left college, and then tattooing kind of I got really interested in it after seeing some work by Dimitri Samohin. He does these um, phenomenal portraits that look like paintings on canvas, but they're all on skin. And I really wanted to bring that to um, other people, and especially to people of color, because we don't tend to get a lot of that more detailed work mm -hmm. for various reasons. But the fact that I can get out there and do that now, and people love it enough, makes me super happy and excited, and I'm just feeling so loved right now. <laughs> and that's good, and you should, you should. So do you have a website that we can check out your work, and how can we contact you um, social media-wise? Okay, well, um, I have my personal website, which is elishabainc.com, and then I have the shop website, because it's my shop, onedropinc.com, which right now is going to our Facebook because we're rebuilding our site. Um, in Instagram is onedropinc, and that's O-N-E-D-R-O-P-I-N-K. Uh, Facebook is also onedropinc. Tattoo Parlor and Gallery. And if you just Google One Drop Ink, we're the ones, that's it. And Elisha was a rare name, so you'll find me if you Google me. So. But uh, we're right there across from uh, uh, TSU on Ed Temple Boulevard. We've got three artists, and you know we're just trying to grow and do art. We don't have any pompous, no mess. You come in, we're going to tell you the truth and give you the best tattoo possible. It was great meeting you, and congratulations, you so and we look much. forward to seeing more from you. Thank you. And good luck with your journey. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good rest of the day. You too. Thank you.